hey, we're going to look at an awesome tool converting a PDF to Microsoft Excel using Power Query. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have this feature since it is a new one. You'll find it under the Data tab. Get data from file from PDF. That's going to let you do uh, this, this awesome just connections with PDFs here. Um, in this video, I'm going to share with you how to take a credit card statement and extract just a portion of the PDF. It's a multi-page PDF and just bring in the Excel uh, data table with the transactions, just basically uh, the dates, the transaction vendors and the dollar amounts. Uh, so here we go. Let me share with you how we're going to do it. So I'm in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to go to the data tab. And then under Get and Transform, use the Power Query tools to go to From File, From PDF. Then from here, we just need to navigate to find the file. OK, I've connected to the PDF. And the Navigator will open up here. And depending on your PDF, you're going to have a lot of different tables and possibly different pages. So your goal is kind of just kind of go fishing till you can see data that you want to bring in here. OK, so um, in this example here, I've found that on page three is what I want right here. Now, it's possible that you might have a credit card statement that has two pages of data. If that were the case, you'd want to click select multiple items. And then you would be able to check the, the variety of them and bring in multiple ones and append them together. But in this example, I'm just going to bring in only one table because that's all we have here. And when you've got it located, your next step is going to want to transform. When you transform, you want to make sure that these are recognized as dates, text, and currency. Also, you also want to change the headers here. So I'm going to click Transform Data. It's going to open up the Power Query Editor. And it will bring in our data set. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name this. So this is the December statement. Basically, this is going to be the name of my table when I'm finally done with the output. Uh, the first thing to look at is that it changed the, the, the actual uh, data types here. If you can look closely, here's a little calendar. That means it's been converted to a date. Here's ABC, that means it's been converted to text. And then there's a 1.2, which has been converted to, to decimal. But I can change that to, for example, currency. And it's going to ask me, do I want to replace the currency? I'll do that. OK, so now I just need to come in here and rename with the double click. I'll type date. I'll change column two to uh, tra transaction could say payee or something like that. And then I'm going to come in here and change this to um, amount. OK, so here we go. Everything looks good here. I'm going to now close and load to. And I'll have the ability to bring it into a table on an existing worksheet. So here we go, then OK. Ta-da. <laughs> That, my friends, is awesome. So I've totally brought it in. Notice I can sort this largest to smallest. I can sort the dates, oldest, newest. This is just remarkable. So I extracted a PDF into Microsoft Excel. Uh, amazing. Amazing. Thanks for watching.